Okay, in question three, a particle can move on the outer smooth surface of a fixed sphere of radius or the particles released from rest on the smooth surface at the height 4 or over 5 above the horizontal plane through the center O of the sphere. Find in terms of O at the height above this plane in which the particle leaves the sphere. Now, it's released from the point A and that's a height 4 or over H above um, the diagonal through O. As it moves down the sphere, reaches some point B. So the energy at A is going to equal the energy at B. Now if we let this angle be theta, this angle here would be theta also, and then this would be O cos theta. So the energy at A is going to equal the energy at B. At A it's got potential energy only, at B it's going to have both potential and kinetic energy. So this means mg times 4 over 5 is going to equal mg times O cos theta plus a half mv squared. The m's will cancel, and if we multiply across by the 2, and we're just left with then v squared equals 8gr over 5 minus 2gr cos theta. So we can label this then as equation number 1. Next of all, if we examine the forces acting on the particle in position b, so the two forces are the normal reaction or and the weight acting downwards. Now if we split up that weight into parallel and perpendicular components, so we are only interested in this component towards the centre. So if this, this weight is mg, this component then would be mg cos theta. So the resulting force towards the centre is the mg cos theta minus r. Now, Fc is mv squared over r, so this means mg cos theta minus r is going to equal mv squared over r. And we can label that as equation number 2. So we're going to substitute equation number 1 into equation number 2. So we're just replacing the v squared with 8gr over 5 minus 2gr cos theta. And then you get mg cos theta minus r equals um, 8mg over 5 minus 2mg cos of theta. If you bring the mg cos theta across and add, well, subtracting it from that, this means minus R is going to equal 8mg over 5 minus 3mg cos theta. And changing the signs, this means R is 3mg cos theta minus 8mg over 5. Now, when the particle leaves, the normal reaction R will be 0. So this means 3mg cos theta minus 8mg over 5 equals 0 which means 3mg cos theta equals 8mg over 5, and the mg's cancel, and if we bring the 3 over, it's going to multiply with the 5. So this means cos of theta equals 8 over 15. However, the height is r times the cos of theta, so the height is going to be r times 8 over 15, which means h equals 8r over 15.